Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries Riders Eye View as usual, where we've put the headlight back on. Uh, not particularly a lot to see, but a fair bit has happened. Or oh, actually, you can see, you might just be able to make out that is slightly yellow because there is brake fluid in the front master cylinder and a very, very nice firm front brake. Now, we've pushed the bike backwards and forwards, squeezing the brake and um, it's very good. It works particularly well. Similarly, in this pot here, we have brake fluid. And when you push the rear brake, it does uh, lock the back wheel up on the rear caliper. I haven't fitted the rear chain on the left hand side yet. I might leave it off, actually, because there should be enough torque just to use one gear. Um, we'll see how that goes when we test it. So we have working brakes and we have a working clutch cable as per the previous video and a working throttle cable. So all the controls are in. We're just waiting for electrics, uh, plumbing and uh, a bit of fettling on the fuel system, which I know is quite a big job. And more on that will follow. Now, somebody made a comment that they didn't think that the clutch was um, depressing the plates far enough. So I'm going to hand over the camera to the real brains behind this to demonstrate why we think it's okay. Okay, so Real Brains is holding the camera and you can see the clutch and you can see the primary drive pulley. So when I rock the bike backwards and forwards, it's going against the compression of the engine. Um, when I, it's in gear obviously, it's in first gear. When I depress the clutch, the clutch slips and it doesn't do that. When I let go of the clutch, it will try and turn the engine over. You can hear it hissing against compression. If I push the decompressor, it should make it easier. There you go. Oh, you know, I don't know whether to be proud of this or scared of it. Uh, so the clutch we think is okay uh, as it is, but it's a good comment. You know, it, you couldn't see a lot of movement looking down from the top. So it was, it was handy to have that comment. And you know, really, it was a fair point. It didn't look like it was hardly moving at all. Um, right, so I'm going to go and probably see if Bob's in next door, Mr. Bob, and maybe have a whiskey and a cigar because it's kind of a bit of a celebratory moment. Uh, wiring will take a while. I've got to work out whether to have one or two batteries, how to do 24 volts and 12 volts at the same time. I'll probably consult with the wonderful Kevin at Boyer Bransden, who's been really helpful so far. Hint, that means, can we have some more free support, please? Um, uh, and just probably uh, draw it all out first. So, so when I've got a wiring diagram, I'll post a link to that on the channel. Um, and that is it for the weekend. It's been a beautiful weekend today. Was at the Hinkley Custom Car Show. Quite a few really interesting bikes there from the National Chopper Club. And it was good to have a bit of a chat to some of the fellas there too. Friendly bunch they are. Right, very good. That is it for today and for this weekend. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.